hey, let's test all these various types and brands of water for purity. To do so, we're going to use this water tester that the folks at Cactoily sent me. Check out the link in the video description if you'd like to purchase one of these. This device can give you six different indicators of water quality, but we're only going to focus on three. The first is the chemical oxygen demand, which is just a crude measurement of how much pollution's in the water. The total organic carbon represents the concentration of organic substances in the water, and the total dissolved solids indicates how much material, both organic and inorganic, are contained in the water. Okay. To start with, we're going to use distilled water. This is generally the most pure type of water that people can easily get their hands on. All right, let's power up the device, test the water, and check out the results. Yeah, this is exactly what I would expect for distilled water. All three measurements, register zero. Okay, next we're going to test this natural spring water from Iceland. Because this water has been in contact with soil, I'd guess it's going to have some dissolved solids. Sure enough, it looks like the TDS value is 49 parts per million. And it looks like the other two values have bumped up a little bit too. All right, time to test some Fiji water. I'm particularly interested to do this test because the bottle itself reports 222 parts per million dissolved solids. It looks like our device measures this just a bit lower. TDS, 141 parts per million. Okay, now we're going to test Aquafina, which is purified by reverse osmosis. I'll sometimes use Aquafina in my experiments if I can't find a source of distilled water. Sure enough, TDS for Aquafina only measures four parts per million and the other two are zero. Avion is sourced from natural spring water, so I'd expect it to have some dissolved solids. Hey, check it out. The TDS measures 277 parts per million. Okay, we're finally gonna test the life water. Like Aquafina, this is purified through reverse osmosis. In contrast to Aquafina, however, some minerals are added back after the purification process. Looks like TDS on this one measures 17 parts per million. Here's a graphical summary of these results for all types of water tested and all water quality measurements made. In summary, I found this water quality tester to be both fun and interesting to use. If you happen to purchase one of these water quality testers and find something interesting, be sure to let me know in the comments what you find. Happy experimenting.